Join me on the fourth annual homecoming and pilgrimage to Sierra Leone on December 28, 2021 through January 9, 2022. We will be exploring this beautiful country and eligible individuals will be receiving Sierra Leonean citizenship and passports. For more details, check out our website, sierraleonepilgrimage.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Go Ham Lifestyle Vlogs. Because we all need an Africa escape plan. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about Isabel Dos Santos, once known as the richest woman in Africa. That was her title. She got her billions by stealing from her own people. Her father was the president of Angola. Hence, she got the first opportunity to invest in things. She got discounts. She got all the good stuff because she was the president's daughter and she accumulated that wealth into becoming the richest woman in Africa. Now, a Dutch court has ordered her to surrender her share in Senangol. Um, it's a company in Angola and her share is $500 million. Ouch! That's a lot of money for her to give back and I'm not mad at that. I really am not mad at that because that money could have done so much for the people but unfortunately it goes into few pockets and the rest, tough luck, that's the attitude that has been going on in many African countries. It's not that we're not rich, it's not that we don't have natural resources, it's not that we don't have talented youth, skilled youth, educated youth, it's that leadership sucks. So that's the trend in most of Africa. But now we're seeing the deputy president of Equatorial Guinea, his assets being seized, um, he, him being banned from entering certain countries, in this case now, Isabel Dos Santos being told to give back the share she stole from the people. But the only thing that makes me sad is the fact that it's not in their own countries. The court systems in their own countries failed the people. So now the Dutch court is the one that has to order um, for these shares to be returned. Anyways, I'm glad at least it's going to go back to the people, hopefully. <laughs> That's the hope. Um, but I don't feel bad for Isabel Dos Santos. She knew what she was doing. Her family knew what they were doing. Her younger brother is also uh, in prison for taking out funds offshore again stealing from the people and their father has been running angola for decades and allegedly help others to be corrupt as well anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about isabel dos santos being ordered to give back 500 million dollars worth of shares back to her country i am ungil zaral i'm bringing you the story i'll see you on the next one bye <music> Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.